This is uh, my cover crop trial at the Bush Estate. We have uh, six different species uh, sown at uh, different rates. So I'm just going to walk up through them uh, and let you see what's here. We start with vetch, uh, which is probably uh, not uh, considered a, a cover crop uh, by most. Um, the first plot is sown at 10 kilos a hectare. And the ground cover is fairly good. 5 kilos per hectare, it seems a bit on the light side and there's a lot of weed content. It was certainly the slowest to emerge and get established. This is fodder radish, sown at 20 kilos a hectare. Good coverage. The height is uh, 30 to 40 centimetres across the three plots which are sown at different rates. We're moving into 15 kilos a hectare and then down to 10. There's still good coverage in the 10, but you can see a higher content of weed. And if it hadn't been such a good autumn, perhaps it would have established as well. Italian ryegrass, sown at 35 kilos a hectare. It's quite a cost uh, at this rate. So we tried a lower rate at 15 kilos per hectare. And it has established well, but you can see the weeds, uh, particularly chickweed, in the sward. Westerwolds, again sown at 35 kilos a hectare, taller than the ryegrass, but perhaps hasn't tillered out as much. And then again at the lower seed rate of 15. And it certainly has left it more open for weeds to establish. Finally, we've got mustard, three different seed rates, the tallest uh, vegetation above the ground, 50 to cent 70 centimetres. It has started to flower and, and just starting to, to elongate and produce the seed heads, uh, which is probably not something we want to be happening. 15 kilos a hectare. Still good cover. And then down to 10. It's starting to look a bit on the thin side. And perhaps in a, a less favourable autumn, we would have a lot more weed competition. The vetch is obviously the smallest biomass, uh, but you can clearly see the nodules that are forming on the roots. And I'm quite surprised how deep they've gone, 20 centimetres or so down into the soil. Unfortunately deer seem to find it the most palatable and they've grazed off some of the top growth. The west of wolves is a thicker stemmed and possibly longer root than the Italian which is next uh, is on the right. The root mass is also greater in the west of wolves and was uh, notably uh, difficult to uh, pull apart uh, compared to all the other crops. The radish, this is a fodder radish and not the oil radish which produces a much bigger bulb. But the taproot has gone down about 30 centimetres. So good for getting down and breaking open the structure. The mustard is the tallest top growth by a long way. These plants 70 plus centimetres. And the roots are shallower, uh, but still going down uh, 15 to 20 centimetres. <laughs> 